Hi, everyone. Let's start by explaining what this organization is. Um, the name of, our, of this organization is called KERFA. It means uh, Movement Against Racism and Fascism. Um, this uh, organization was uh, constructed uh, from um, students, uh, anti-racist organizations in general, feminist organizations, LGBTQ organizations, unions like uh, hospitals and teachers, uh, refugee organized uh, uh, groups, and uh, generally activists. Um, it was created uh, in 2008 or 9. I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly the date. Um, at that point, it looked like uh, there was no reason to create this organization because fascists were not uh, strong enough in my country at that point. Uh, but um, our party could see that uh, fascists were getting stronger and stronger. So they decided to create this organization uh, a few years before the fascists uh, entered the parliament <coughs> and uh, they had the um, confidence to go out on the street and actually starting getting uh, aggressive. Um, on, uh, at uh, 2013, there was a, a turning point in the movement. Uh, um, the fascists were very uh, dangerous for um, uh, refugees and also for the left in uh, the country. And uh, the murder of a, a Greek rapper uh, rang the emergency bells uh, for everyone. Um, the, of course, they were attacking the previous year's uh, refugees, um, <coughs> but uh, they were not that, uh, uh, they were even marching in the streets, uh, hiding their hands in the, the air. They were, they were uh, feeling like they, they would change uh, the scenery in Greece uh, for sure. But, uh, Kerfa. Kerfa is, uh, is majorly responsible for uh, changing the opinion of the people in Greece, uh, kicking them out of parliament, and in five years, we locked the, the fascists into jail. Um, how did we do that? Um, <coughs> we used the court. <laughs> which was a kind of um, a hard discussion with the rest of the left. Um, it, it's controversial. Um, but we use the court uh, for our own um, um, benefit? benefit. Thank you very much. Um, we still don't trust the court, even if we won the case. We still know what it is. But no one said that we can't use a court to prove that a an organization that uh, says to the public that they are a political party, uh, yeah, that they are not in, uh, in reality. Uh, I'm sorry. OK. We all know, after the Second World War, what fascists means. Uh, what fascist groups are doing uh, in general, and what they did also in Greece, was that they are trying to uh, rebrand themselves, trying to um, look just as uh, angry civilians. Um, and they were behind in movements like um, the <coughs> angry parent movement, um, who were just parents locking schools, blocking e uh, refugee children of in entering schools and having disturbing um, theories of, yeah. And they were getting bigger and bigger, unfortunately. Um, the left. OK, OK. I'm sorry. I'm not used to talking public. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, let's start with our slogans. <laughs> uh, the, the, the slogans were um, to open the schools uh, for all the children, uh, open the borders, no more dead people in the Greek borders. This was a very um, hard discussion to have, and uh, unfortunately, the Greek government hasn't still opened the borders. Um, 
uh, I, there are there are numbers estimating the dead people in Greek quarters. Uh, there they are over uh, five thousand people, uh, which is very scary. Um, we were um, saying that uh, Golden Dawn is not a political organization, but a criminal organ a, a, a political party, but a criminal organization. And uh, yeah. Uh, Kerfa, as an organization, was inter, uh, intersectional. Uh, they also worked with uh, many, uh, they, they were uh, in LGBTQ uh, parade, um, demonstrations, they were everywhere. Um, how I would like to do, uh, close this. Um, What we can learn about this? As I see it now, it looks like when the left is united, we actually have the power to change things, even when they don't look like they are going to be the way we want. And uh, this whole uh, story was a big win for the Greek uh, movement and a, a huge um, lesson for the rest of uh, the left, I think. And I think that's why they called me to say that. Uh, thank you very much for your time.